So power apps gallery is an important control in power apps that helps to user to display several records containing different kind of data from a data sources like SharePoint, Excel, SQL, etc. Suppose let's take an example. You want to show some product details in a gallery control. Product details in sense of product name, product category, product color, product price. All these things you can display in a gallery control. There is another important key feature is scrolling. It supports, I mean, this gallery control supports vertical and horizontal scrolling to browse through items. Suppose you want to browse some uh, product name, laptop or um, keyboard, or you want to browse some price of any type of product, then you can um, you can scroll and uh, you can uh, get your um, you can scroll and you can get your item based upon your uh, like browsing and uh, as you can see some of the use cases i can tell you like uh, you can display list of record like product employees or task details or you can create image galleries or cat catalogs also there are six different type of galleries in power apps such as vertical gallery horizontal gallery flexible height gallery blank vertical gallery blank horizontal gallery and last one is blank flexible height gallery and you can see all the difference over here gallery limitation in power apps gallery control uh, like uh, it doesn't support uh, uh, like uh, some of the control within a gallery just like display form edit form pdf viewer control power bi tile rich text edit control barcode scanner control like now i will jump directly to the power apps application and tell you how you can display your manual items in a power apps gallery control and as well as your sharepoint list items in a power apps gallery control so let's start so this is my power apps application that i have uh, a demo i have created uh, for your reference purpose the left side you can see this is a vertical gallery control and the right side you can see this is a horizontal gallery control you can see once i will scroll this one you can see how it is like uh, the items are appearing horizontally and here in the left side you can see all the items are i'm displaying manually and in the right side whatever uh, the items you are seeing here those are retrieving from a set point list okay so now let's uh, like talk about how we can display items manually in a set point list so here i have created another new screen uh, so first of insert a gallery control you can go to the insert tab and once you will select gallery you can see under the layout section there are four six different type of gallery vertical horizontal flexible height blank vertical blank horizontal and blank flexible uh, blank flexible height gallery so uh, let me uh, like to show you one two three i mean two to three gallery that how we can work with so vertical gallery you can see it is appearing like this and uh, like another one i will add horizontal gallery you can see this is appearing like this the horizontal gallery you can see just it is overlapping so what you can do you just take it here this is uh, sorry this is vertical and this is horizontal okay so now um, i will add another one just a second um, minimize this one okay so now i will add another gallery called flexible height gallery so flexible height gallery means this is full flexible it will allow you to like uh, uh, how like variable heights as i told you so like you can see so if i will minimize this one you can see you can see over here like uh, see how it is appearing okay so this is a uh, flexible height gallery and another one i will add blank vertical gallery blank vertical gallery means it will be fully blank it will allow you to uh, insert any type of control uh, like within the gallery except the edit form display form uh, pdf viewer control and uh, barcode control so uh, except that all those things you can add any type of control include uh, like inside the gallery control blank vertical control okay now i will disable this one i mean just may i will uh, make it false but uh, visible property so now i will tell you how we can display your items manually in a 
power apps gallery control so for that you can see here in the right side there is a layout property you can see there are various layout present uh, available inside the layout property you can see the blank title title and subtitle so just make it title okay and uh, now i want to display my items manually in a gallery control so what i will do i will start um, just a square bracket and then inside the bracket i need to write or i need to provide the list of items that i want to display over here within a uh, invertent comma okay so here i will write like sorry uh, inside it i will write one by one item so australia and then uh, brazil and then canada and then uh, denmark okay and the final one europe you can add multiple number of items over here okay so now you can see here uh, this is already appearing suppose in your uh, whenever you are entering the item manually uh, it is not displaying the values are not displaying over here so what you can do here just go to over here this field section and then just select the value over here and once you select this one also like a title label you can see this item dot value so you need to put that value then only it will display the all the values manual values or manual items inside a gallery control you can see over here okay and uh, suppose you want to display default item whenever the user will open the app uh, or like whenever your user will open the app that time their gallery control should display with default items so, like suppose i want to um, uh, make a default or set the default item as Denmark. So what I can do, you just go to the default property over here, and then you write to you need to write a code like value, and uh, just colon, and then you need to provide the item over here. Okay, and then this per, uh, like uh, curly brackets close. So now you can see whenever the user will open the app, the default item will be Denmark always. Okay. So in this way, you can uh, add your items manually in a Power Apps Gallery Control. Now I will show you how you can show your item or display your item, SharePoint list item inside a Power Apps Gallery Control. So for that, what you can do here, I already added a uh, like horizontal gallery control. Now I will display all the items, SharePoint list item over here, including one image. Okay. Not only you can select the horizontal gallery control or vertical gallery control, you can select any type of uh, gallery control that here you can like it is providing right gallery. So you can uh, take your gallery based upon your requirement and you can design on that. Okay. So I will first of all, I will show you my uh, set point list that is car rental services. You can see this contains various type of columns, car name, car type, color and car image. Now I want to display all these records inside a power of gallery control. So before that you need to make sure that like uh, you need to connect the SharePoint list over here to the connector, SharePoint list connector. Okay, then you will connect the list, then it will appear over here. So uh, after that what you will do, here you can see uh, by default the items property of a horizontal gallery control will be custom gallery sam uh, sample. So once you connected the list into the application, you need to provide the set point list name you can see over here like automatically it is displaying okay so suppose your item is not displaying over the in gallery control so what you can do here uh, you just expand it you can see all the items and you can see the this horizontal scroll bar once you will horizontal once you will use this horizontal square uh, like uh, scroll bar you can see all the items over here okay suppose your item is like image is not displaying over this one so what you can do go to the image property and you need to write this code this item dot car image car image my SharePoint list name and uh, sorry my SharePoint column name okay that is image column this one you can see this is my title column you can see here this car name is my title column and it is displaying all the car names and here you can see this is my choice column car type so in the code like hey, this is a choice column so you need to provide this item dot car type dot value okay now you need to uh, suppose you want to uh, design your gallery then you can see various type of property in the right side 
you can take any type of uh, uh, like carousel or uh, layout like title and subtitle title and subtitle overlay you can use that and uh, you can uh, make your gallery with attractive okay and uh, i will tell you one more thing suppose in the image control you can see there is a image position so one like center field fit stretch and tile there are five type various type of image position suppose you want to click on fit it will fit the image inside the image control if you want to make it fill then the it will fill uh, like every, that uh, image will be filled inside image control suppose you want to make it center it will be center suppose you want to stretch the image will be stretched and suppose you want to make it a tile tile basis you can see these are the tile okay so what type of uh, uh, image position you want you can give it okay so this is how you can use your gallery control inside a power apps application